Hi everyone, in today's video I'm doing another shell challenge for a friend. This is for Sims for Stephanie on Instagram celebrating her 900 followers. And I thought that her shell looked really interesting, it wasn't too big or too small. And so I decided to give it a go. And I went in the style of a kind of like eclectic bohemian look for this house and it's the first time I've ever done it so I don't know if I necessarily got it right. I think I did. I looked at a bunch of pictures and I was like okay it's I feel like it's kind of similar to industrial but not as modern and maybe a little bit more elegant and things like that like more um, organic in a way and so I tried my best to do that in this build and I think I really like the way it turned out so I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> I mean um, you know not to toot my own horn or anything but yeah but anyways so I will be putting Stephanie's information down below if you want to check her out on Instagram. Um, also if you're on Instagram lately I've been trying to do things to kind of connect with uh, the people who you know like follow my account or like support me and everything and trying to be more um, I guess like interactive with people and I did a I did a question where I asked what cartoons people grew up or like their favorite cartoon growing up or what they think of from their childhood and I did it partially because I wanted to see not to only see what kind of cartoons were popular but to also kind of get a feel for like the different age groups within the community like based on what they did watch when they were growing up and so I could kind of tell like the people who are closer to my age like um kind of watch the same things that I did and like and then for the younger groups of people they answered something like a cartoon that I've never even heard of before so there were like two or three that I've never heard of and I thought it was, it was just really interesting to, to see that, to see how things change over time and to see how some cartoons, you know, just, they just get lost forever. They, and, um, you know, like there's cartoons that I watched when I was younger that were really popular and, and they're still like, I feel like the concept is still really cool even now, but there are kids and teenagers and even some young adults that have never even heard of these cartoons because they're from like the late 80s or something. One of my favorite cartoons was um, Dinosaucers <laughs> and it, it was it was about these dinosaurs that you know were uh, that traveled in space in flying saucers therefore dinosaurs and um, I, just, I don't remember like the whole um, like storyline necessarily but I just remember the concept was so cool to me and and I always like loved watching things with dinosaurs in it like there's also there was also this cartoon called Denver the last dinosaur and I even remember kind of like the theme song in my head still but I mean, you know these are shows like from the late 80s early, early 90s and I know there's a lot of people that have never heard of it and it's so unfortunate because I really feel like cartoons especially during that time like in the 80s and 90s had a lot more I feel like the cartoons like the quality was a little bit better like it wasn't as I wouldn't say lazy but I feel like just the ideas for the actual cartoons were a little bit more complex than cartoons nowadays like especially for the younger crowd and I mean I'm not saying that like every cartoon is bad or anything these days or anything like that like I you know my kids watch cartoons still and I do I do watch some with them and think that they're really funny or cute or whatever but uh, you know I mean it's been a long time since I've watched cartoons regularly like nowadays the only cartoons we really watch like especially as a family is like Family Guy and um, uh, Bob's Burgers or South Park and but when I was a kid I used to watch all the different cartoons on like Nickelodeon on the Disney Channel on Cartoon Network like especially when they would do like the oldies on Cartoon Network it would be like the Godzilla cartoon and He-Man and man, I can't even remember like, of course Scooby-Doo would play on there you know and then there was like the Flintstones the, uh, the Jetsons just like all of those like classic cartoons Yogi Bear and then there was also you know there's things that were canceled uh when even when I was a kid that I feel like would still be really good for kids to watch these days. There's like My Little Pony, Pound Puppies, um, my gosh, like the list can really go on and on. And I, I feel like those those cartoons were just, I feel like even the the toys that were made from those cartoons, like 
they're still very iconic. Oh my gosh, Care Bears. I totally forgot about Care Bears. It just hit me right now. Care Bears was like literally one of my favorite ever when I was younger. And they even had like all those different um, like generations of Care Bears too. So, and I like that they tried to bring some of these things back, but I don't like how they change it. And I, I know that's kind of like, it's kind of typical that you wouldn't really like something that was changed when you remember it as something else when you're a child like the kids now probably like it yeah like my little pony and care bears and things how they updated the looks of them and everything but at the same time i feel like the old versions weren't bad like why would you change something that's not that doesn't need to be changed you know like the old care bears the old my little ponies like those those were so popular like when i was a kid and I don't feel like they should have changed it. I don't like the way the new My, uh, My Little Ponies look. I don't like the new Care Bears. And it's just, it's one thing to update the looks of like the ponies and things like that. But they completely changed their names too. And I thought that they had some really neat, you know, names and things like that for the uh, for My Little Ponies. And I mean, thank goodness, at least they didn't change like the names for Care Bears and stuff. But I mean, that I'm sure they probably added on um, some new characters and everything. I, I don't know. I haven't watched any of the new Care Bears stuff because I refuse to. <laughs> but um, I, the, the last I did see, I know they had some of the original characters for Care Bears. I don't know. It's just, it, I just thought it was, I just thought it was really cool to to see the different answers though that the people gave. And um, so yeah, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram and want to be included in things like that that I do, of of course, you don't have to follow me or anything. If you wanted, uh, you could always just, I guess, check if I, if I have a question or a poll or something in my stories without um, having to follow me. But, you know, I, I'm just trying to figure out ways to kind of interact with people a little bit more and to like kind of connect a little bit deeper than just you know, like, oh, I like your build, whatever, you know, so like, trying to get to know people in a sense. And I mean, there's a lot of people on there and it's, you know, honestly, I was really surprised by how many responses I got to my question in the first place. But um, I did, I was able to like share all, all the responses I got and, and respond to them. And yeah, so I, if there's anything that you think would be a fun poll or whatever, like, you know, of course, I'm always open to suggestions and things. And, you know, I actually have a whole bunch of different and I think kind of interesting ideas for some for some more of my cast videos. But I try to to separate it like I don't like to do like just a bunch of builds and then a bunch of casts or whatever. Like I tried to do it back and forth like a build and then cast and then a build or, you know, something like that. I guess I do builds more than I do casts, but I, I have so many ideas for different cast projects that I'm trying to do some builds and do casts at the same time because I don't want to just have more of uh, one than the other, but because I know people don't really watch my cast videos a whole lot. At least I, I don't think so. I feel like they're not as popular. I could be wrong. You can tell me if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> Um, if, or, you know, do you guys like the creative sim videos I do? Like, please let me know because I, I don't always know if putting my time and effort into these things, um, is worth it. You know, if, if people don't like to watch it, <laughs> like, um, you know, please let me know if there's anything that you don't like seeing in my videos or maybe that you want to see more of, or, you know, see less of or something like that. Um, I guess also do you guys enjoy doing these like poll things like I mean if if you are somebody who follows me on Instagram and have answered any of the polls or anything like is that kind of thing fun for you guys you think like to just to see all the different answers and um and like share ideas about these kinds of things you know but yeah just let me know because again I'm just trying to be more inclusive with with my content and not only make it all about me all the time and um, or, you know, just to have you guys sit here and watch me build something or furnish a house or whatever. And I'm just talking about exactly what I'm doing on the screen. Like, of course you can see what I'm doing. I mean, there might be some times where you might wonder why I chose something over something else. And if I'm not talking about the build necessarily, then I won't be able to explain that. But at the same time, it's kind of like, I think it's for the most part 
um, self-explanatory. So I figure if I can at least talk about other things, like if not my story time that I do every now and then, if I can talk about things that are like, that kind of like bring back some nostalgia or something, I think that that's a kind of fun way to switch up my videos a little bit. So, and I don't know about you guys, but I love nostalgic things <laughs> so especially things you know that I grew up with like whether they're toys or videos or um tv shows or games whatever the case may be so I think maybe one of these days I'm even gonna have I don't know if I mentioned in my last video but I think I want to do a thing where Instagram chooses what I build also or maybe even like Instagram chooses my sim or you know like doing the thing where I do a poll of different traits and characteristics and all that whatever of a sim and then having everyone vote on it because I haven't done that. I've participated in things like that where other people have done votes. So I mean of course it's not a ri an original idea by me or anything like that but I always enjoy voting on those kind of polls and seeing what somebody else creates. So. I'm wondering if I should try that too and maybe try to switch it up in a way if I can, if I can figure out how. But so not only do I want to do a Instagram like chooses my sim or whatever like character, but I think I want to do like Instagram chooses my build and then, you know, do all the different like options of building a house or something like that and like maybe as detailed as possible so I don't have to think about it so much. <laughs> And then just have everyone vote on it and based on whatever wins. And of course, I'll try to make a house um, to fit. But I don't know. I, I have to figure out how to make it a little bit more, um, I guess, I don't know, like how to make it easier but detailed at the same time. And I think that could be a fun way to like, um, to give people the opportunity to like stress me out. <laughs> Or like to, you know, like if I put different things, like maybe someone can choose like a completely different style to try to throw me off compared to, compared to like the color scheme or something like that. Or like, like neon Victorian, like j just for an example, of course, I don't think I could ever do a neon Victorian because I don't think they have any Victorian furniture in neon colors, which is exactly what I'm talking about though, to try to throw me off like that. Suggest that I do a neon color scheme and then tell me I need to do a Victorian style home or something. But I think I'm gonna try to um, prevent that option <laughs> from happening. So, I mean, not really. I don't think I would actually try to prevent it from happening. But of course, based on what people actually chose, you know, the winning answer would be what I would use to help me to choose what I'm going to build. But anyways, I guess uh, that's all I kind of wanted to go through. I think there was more stuff I wanted to say about the cartoons actually, but I totally lost my train of thought back when I remembered about Care Bears. <laughs> and so I don't, I don't even know what else I was going to say about that. But um, I had like all these different things I wanted to mention before I started recording and then I started recording and I don't remember anything. Go figure. But as always, I appreciate anybody who takes the time to watch my video. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I always appreciate any kind of support to my channel. So uh, thank you and I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you in the next one. Bye!